Here are some homes on the uh, Missouri River just up from Bismarck that are doing their best to keep the water at bay. And uh, these are big, beautiful homes uh, on a back channel whose biggest problem before, quite frankly, was trying to figure out a way to keep access to the river because this channel was driving up. And now they're in a fight for their life with groundwater. And you can see with the uh, intrusion of the water coming from underneath and over when it rains, they have to make sure that the water doesn't affect them. Their outbuildings are in water, and you can see in the distance a large warehouse fighting the same fight there as well. And this, the water, the Missouri River used to have a very tiny channel here, but the main channel was about a quarter mile in our direction over the tops of these treetops here. And here's some big cottonwood trees that are about 100 years old that probably never have seen water in quite some time. Here's another house. Ironically, they, uh, they have a pool uh, in their house. There's the playground. There's another house just to the north of us. and They don't seem to be diked up here at all. They're just kind of letting nature take its course. There's water all the way around this home. It appears to be all the stuff is out of the house. We can see through the windows here. And uh, there's their playground. Uh, we're, we're probably about 12 feet above where the water should be. So there would be a 12 foot drop down to the river here and the river channel were, were 12 feet above where it should be, and they've, uh, they've, they're not diking the home, so uh, they may be giving up on this house, I don't know. And the beautiful pool in front of it, uh, completely ruined by, uh, by the river. Water all the way around it, we'll, we'll paddle down on the other side of it. As you can see, water completely surrounds it, going all the way back around to about another half mile behind this river, what was once a riverfront home, no access to it at all. Completely, uh, completely inaccessible except by what we're doing now by boat. And you can see the, the cottonwood on the water falling out of the tree. Incidentally, cottonwood trees do not recede unless there is a flood. So these will sink to the bottom. And as the mud comes back up, you'll see little cottonwood shoots from all the cottonwood you see here. Um, and that, that's what will happen as a result of what is taking place right now. Here's a. Uh, okay, look at this. Here's the bladder. Yeah, here's the bladder. We can see that they were trying to protect their house with. That's failed. They've got another dike, a secondary dike there, another pool behind that dike. You can hear pumps pumping water out from behind this house here. And uh, we saw their, their jacuzzi on the other side of their dike. There's a, there's a water. You can see the water running out from behind there. So they've got groundwater issues over here. They've got electricity. I can see uh, electricity on over there. As they're fighting this, this flood fight, they've got water coming on both sides at this house here. Water, 12 feet high, the river here. You can see the tops of these trees over, over the water there. This is a riverfront property here. The Mills place. Been here for a long time, 14 years. Yep. Lynn built it. Cody here just barely remembers the other house before they came here. Got a lot of water in the garage here. So how how deep are you estimating the water to be here? Uh, about three and a half. About three and a half, right? Three like and a half that? feet. About three and a half feet. You thinking here? In here? Yeah. About three. And the current just right out in front of your house now. Unbelievable. So really all it's saving you is this guy's house, right? What's that? All it's saving you is his house. He's definitely helping his trees out front. Yeah, right.